everybody, welcome back to the Ordinary Series. This is Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty, and I'm Stephanie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here, and if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so YouTube tells you when I upload. Today, we are back with the Ordinary Series. A quick little synopsis of what the Ordinary Series is. Uh, every week, I will go over one of the Ordinary's offerings products and I do that so that you can kind of get an in-depth review of that one product after I have been trying it for at least three months because that's the only way you can actually get a good read on skincare in my opinion. So this way you can have an in-depth review on one product, get the information, what kind of stuff you can use it with, what you shouldn't use it with, when you can put it on, when you shouldn't, etc. And you can go back between the videos and cross-reference. I think a lot of the ordinary videos, because they have so many products, is just here's 25 products and let's go over all of them really quickly and then you end up really confused at the end because you heard so many products you forget which ones did which etc so hopefully this series clears that up and makes things a little bit easier for you today i am doing the ordinary oils this will probably be one of the only times that i talk about more than one product in this series just because the oils I think they you know, go together, a lot of them do a lot of the same things, so I thought it would be a little redundant to break them up into three videos, but I will keep it short and sweet and very specific and clear, and I'll tell you what I think of them. So here they are. I have three oils. So here's the three oils we're talking about today. We're talking about the 100% plant-derived squalane, and we're talking about the 100% organic cold-pressed Moroccan argan oil, and we're talking about the 100% organic <laughs> Say that like 12 times fast. And we're talking about the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Can you guess which one's my favorite? I'll never tell till I do in this video. The Ordinary Oils. They have more than these three oils I'm talking about today, but these are the three that I've been using for three months or more. The other ones I'm still just, it takes a long time to use all these products to give an adequate review because you have to use them for so long and I have a one in and one out policy so typically I'm only introducing one new element at one time in my skincare routine that way if I have a bad reaction or a breakout or something crazy happens I know which product caused it so when you have this one in and one out skincare routine you are going to be taking a very long time to give each one an adequate test I have been trying these products for over a year so we'll get into the ordinary oils. The rose hip seed oil, it is 30 ml for $9.80. It's water free, alcohol free, silicone free, nut free, and vegan free, as well as cruelty free. So all the good frees. So here she is, pretty, pretty. And it does actually leave a little bit of an orange glow on your skin after you put it on so if that bothers you or if you're very fair skinned and you know you happen to be going out without makeup and you don't want your face to look orangey it's so subtle I actually like it makes you look like you're glowing but I wanted to give you the heads up in case you felt like that was something that would bother you my allergies are bothering me so bad like my nose itches so much I feel like I just want to rip my eyeballs out and put them in like a cold glass of water so this is from their website. This formulation uses 100% pure rose hip seed oil that is both cold pressed and organic. Rose hip seed oil is rich in linoleic acid, linolenic acid, and pro-vitamin A, all of which degrade when the oil extraction process involves heat. While cold pressed extraction is complex, it preserves all of the quality of this important oil which has been shown to reduce signs of photo aging and many other skin conditions. It is supplied in a UV protective package which they all are, um, which means it's this brown bottle so that if you have it on your bathroom sink or you know whatever and there's a window nearby, the sun's rays that are coming through the window won't break down and degrade this oil because that is what sun does. So, And that's why you see a lot of essential oils in these uh, UV protected bottles any like dark green, brown, etc. Any tinted bottles is to protect it from UV. Our rosehip seed oil is completely unrefined and imparts a natural scent, partly 
due to its high omega fatty acid content. This scent is not an indication of rancidity. I wouldn't think it was. Um, it smells it smells good. It smells like it smells like olive oil, sort of. Rosehip seed oil that does not have a scent is refined and offers reduced benefits. Fun fact, didn't know that. So rosehip seed oil can typically be very expensive because some people think rosehip seed oil comes from the rose, like rose oil. It's not, it comes from the little like seed in the hip of the rose. Hence the name rosehip seed oil. And the process of extracting the oil from those tiny little rosehip seeds is really intricate and really involved. So rosehip seed oil typically is super expensive. This one's very affordable and a great option in my opinion. The oil contains a lot of ingredients that are super beneficial for the skin. Gamma linoleonic acid, let's just call it GLA because I don't want to ever say that again. That's an omega fatty acid that works well for maintaining the skin barrier. So the barrier on your skin that protects moisture from getting out and you know environmental hazards from getting in, that's your skin's barrier. And this GLA is really good for maintaining that. Vitamin C, which we know is awesome, and vitamin A via carotenoids. Um, and both the vitamin C and A are really good for skin brightening. What does it do? Well, it moisturizes without clogging your pores. Because of the high amount of tretonin, which is a precursor of vitamin A, the rosehip seed oil is amazing for repairing depleted and scarred skin tissue. Any scarring you have from like acne left over, the rosehip seed oil is going to be super good. Rub that right in there and it's going to repair it. So I already went over really quick, vitamin C brightens the skin. And the GLA protects against environmental stressors that could lead to, you know, premature aging. The rosehip seed oil is really easy to distinguish by the deep orange color that I already showed you. Also, rosehip seed oil is really good for putting on your hair if it's dry, dry ends, it reduces frizz. I do not use it for that just because I love it so much for my face that I, I feel like I'd be wasting it on my hair, but you can use it for that. My experience with this oil has been excellent. I love it. The website suggests using it once a day, preferably at bedtime, which I do, but I also do use it in the morning right under my eyes as like a last step to my skincare routine before I put my makeup on and I find it gives a really nice smooth canvas for putting on under eye makeup so your under eyes don't look dry and it kind of reduces the makeup settling in the fine lines under your eyes. It's really, really great for moisturizing. I do look a tiny bit orangish after, like I already talked about. That goes away within five minutes, and I think it's kind of cool. I look like I had a fake tan for a minute. It doesn't leave me oily. It doesn't take super long to absorb. If it is taking a long time to absorb, and if you feel oily for more than five to 10 minutes after, you're probably using too much. A little of this goes a long way. So just decrease the amount you're using. It only really takes a couple drops, pat it into your skin, and it absorbs very quickly. In my nighttime routine, this oil is usually the last thing I use. I usually will put my moisturizer on and then put the Sunday Riley UFO oil on and then, and then the ordinary rosehip seed oil. And oil should always be the last step in your routine because it prevents anything else you put on after from getting into your skin. So because people think creams and moisturizers are heavier, they usually put those on last. But a moisturizer or a cream is giving your skin water, whereas the oil is sealing your skin. So you want to put the moisturizer on first, let that sink in, then put the oil on any oil you're using, and that's going to seal in whatever you already put on your skin, and it's just going to you know, keep everything out of your skin. So always as a last step, don't forget. If I had to pick, if somebody came and they were like, quick, what's your top three ordinary products? This rosehip seed oil would be in my top three without a doubt, all day, every day of the week. You can get it on Desium's website. They can be out of stock sometimes, so I do uh, double up and buy this in twos. I do the same thing with the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid Toner because that sells out really quickly too. It's only, I think, $7.80, so I buy two at a time. Okay, next we're gonna talk about the 100% organic cold pressed Moroccan argan oil. My left hand is going to be super moisturized and soft with all these oils, and then my right hand's like, what about me? 
All right, I got you. The Moroccan Argan Oil is $6.80 for 30 ml. It's water-free, alcohol-free, silicone-free, vegan-free, and cruelty-free. So once again, all the good frees. From their website, this formulation uses 100% pure Moroccan Argan seed oil extracted through a cold pressing that preserves the integrity of the oil's fatty acids, vitamins, phenols, including caffeic acid, and cartotenes. Argan oil's main fatty acid content is made up of oleic and linoleic acid. The oil supports healthy skin and reduces the appearance of flaking. It also adds soft sheen and strength to hair, also supplied in a UV protective package. Our Moroccan Argan oil is completely unrefined and imparts a natural scent. This scent is not an indication of rancidity. Argan oil that does not have a scent is refined and offers reduced benefits. I don't think this... I don't think this has a scent. I don't think it does. I mean, it might have like a mild scent that I'm just not smelling because the scent on this is definitely not as strong as the rosehip seed oil. Um, hardly, you can hardly tell that it even has one. So for those of you who have nut allergies, you would notice that this doesn't say that it's nut free um, because as of May 1st, 2017, this product may contain sources from argan nuts and seeds. The specifications of the oil remain virtually identical. However, if you have a nut allergy, please note that this product may contain traces of nuts. So I would just stay away from that, especially if it's a really bad nut allergy. I know some of them are. The fruit of the Moroccan argan tree is so nutritious that goats climb the trees to, to eat it. It's crazy. Can you just imagine like a goat like climbing up a tree? Inside of that fruit is a little nut from which argan oil is produced. For centuries, dating all the way back to 600 BC, the Phoenicians used argan oil um, for healing as well as for enhancing beauty because they didn't have anything back then. They had to just use what they had. It's rich with vitamins A, C, and E as well as being loaded with antioxidants, linoleic acid, and omega-6 fatty acids. What does argan oil do? It's really great for healing acne. Argan oil is very good for eczema or um, atopic dermatitis, which is a common skin condition that's characterized by raised and inflamed patches. It can minimize dermatitis flare-ups from eczema. Argan oil also includes vitamin E, which is a very powerful antioxidant. It can fight the damaging effects of free radicals in the environment, and that's one of the primary causes for you know acne and eczema and skin conditions. We've already mentioned that argan oil contains a high level of fatty acid. It's comprised of almost 80% fatty acid, which is supposed to work wonders to erase the signs of premature aging and to prevent further premature aging, such as crow's feet and wrinkles, fine lines. Regular use of argan oil has been proven to reduce the depth and severity of wrinkles as well as fade age spots by restoring the skin's youthful elasticity and increasing the regenerative rate of cells. So basically argan oil is allegedly, you know, a powerhouse oil for your skin. I do not use this argan oil on my skin. And the reason for that is twofold. One is because I love the rosehip seed oil so much and I use that on my skin. The other is I have very sensitive acne prone skin and even though this is allegedly non-comogenic and it's supposed to not clog pores, I kind of had the same issue when I use coconut oil on my skin. I always break out. I don't know if it's clogging the pores or if it's just reacting badly, but um, I, I do break out from using the argan oil on my face, but I love it for my hair. I always put it on split ends um, before I go into blow dry or flat iron or curl my hair. I rub some argan oil on as a heat protectant, which it works really well for. I put it in the kids hair, especially if they've been swimming all day and their hair is like straw from chlorine. I give them their bath, put some argan oil in and the next morning it wakes up really soft and supple and shiny again. So it, it's great for me as a hair care item but i don't want to use it on my face anymore just because i had that issue with it if you don't have a sensitivity issue if your skin's not acne prone if your skin's super super dry argan oil would probably be great and i'm sure you know there's a lot of people who use argan oil and have no issues on their skin but i do so i don't the last thing we're going to talk about today is the 100 percent plant derived um squalene squalene it's so weird to say Share the wealth, share the wealth, left hand. Oh my god, my, my hands are so oily. Like, there's so much oil in them right now. Uh, put it in my hair, combat the frizziness. 
of this hot summer day. So this product is 30 mils for $7.90. It is water-free, alcohol-free, silicone-free, nut-free, vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. All the good freeze. I'm gonna keep saying it. You're gonna be so annoyed with me. Squalene is produced from squalene. Um, it's just swapping that last A for an E. And here's the difference quickly. Squalene oil is an unsaturated oil. It's produced by your own skin cells and also it's found in olives and sugarcane, wheat germ, rice bran, palm trees, shark liver. It's no longer common to extract it from shark liver, probably because of the cruelty-free thing. But as an unsaturated oil, squalene goes rancid, so it goes bad very quickly. Squalene oil is a saturated oil. It's formed in squalene undergoes hydrogenating processing, which turns it into a stable, fully saturated oil with a longer shelf life. So the squalene is what we are talking about today. Squalene is a saturated and stable hydrocarbon that is found naturally in the skin. Very high emollients, is an exceptional hydrator and can prevent ongoing loss of hydration that impairs dermal suppleness. Squalene is non-comogenic, won't clog your pores, and is suitable for use on all skin types. It can also be applied to the hair to increase heat protection, add shine, and reduce breakage potential. So what does it do? Well, it moisturizes. We already talked about that. Squalene, it's actually very good for moisturizing, and I think it absorbs faster than the other two. It's less oily. It almost feels more like a dry oil. So it leaves your skin really hydrated and plump. Um, it's super light. It's non-greasy, sinks in, and absorbs really, really fast. 30 seconds, a minute tops, it's it's sunk in. So that's why I like to use the squalene in the morning because I have less time for my skincare and I have to like get my makeup on and I'm usually on my way out the door. So because it absorbs so quickly, it's really something I like to use in the morning. Squalene is excellent for an eye and lip treatment. If you have under eye dryness, like sometimes when I use retinoids or retinols on my eyes, I get really flaky, especially in the corners. So I have very sensitive skin and the squalene will make that go away overnight. It's really good for your lips. I think it is better than most lip balms. It, it works wonders on chapped lips. Wonders. So it's non-comogenic. Theoretically, any oil can be clogging, but this one has the least potential, in my opinion, to clog your pores. It's not as heavy as other oils. It absorbs much quicker. It's non-greasy like we already talked about. I have never found any issues with this and I have super sensitive skin, so if I'm not breaking out from using this, I feel like nobody ever would. Squalene is really good for treating and speeding up the healing process of cracked or irritated skin. It's also very, very good for soothing eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis. These are all skincare issues that cause you know, redness, dry, scaly patches, itching. It likes bacteria, kind of like tea tree oil, coconut oil, squalene as a natural antibacterial and it protects you from oxidative damage like the other two that we talked about. It helps protect your skin from free radicals that can cause age spots and pigmentation and premature aging. It even helps fade pigmentation and dark spots over time. If you're looking into these oils and you can only buy one or two, I would go with the squalene and the rose hip. Use the rose hip at night, use the squalene in the, the daytime or the morning. Um, the argan oil is great, like I said, but because I've had reactions, I'm not a super big fan. I love to use it on my hair, but I probably won't purchase it again because like I said, I already have hair stuff. So if you're looking for one or two, rosehip and squalene, either one of those, you can't go wrong. Both, you're golden. All right, so that's it for today. Um, next week, I think we're going to switch it off with the ordinary. I think we're gonna go with the azelaic acid. We've done a lot of serums, we've done oils. We're gonna go with the azelaic acid. That's what we'll talk about next week in the Ordinary Series. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, if you've had similar experiences or different experiences with these oils, please put them in the comments below. I try to respond to every comment and I think I'm pretty good at it. I'm, I'm on top of it usually and I really like to hear what you guys think, how you guys feel about the product. If you have any questions about how to use them, you know, reactions, results, put them in the comments. If I didn't say something in this video that you wanted to know, put it in the comments. Like, subscribe, comment, keep coming back. I will see you all next time. Stay kind and stay beautiful. Mwah. Bye.